Hey guys, I'm Jasmine Tan from Science for Kids and today we will be doing a floating man experiment. So super simple, you only need four materials for this experiment. First, you will need a dry erase marker. Any color works, any size works, as long as it is a dry erase marker. Next, you will need a napkin to erase any mistakes that you make. Next, you will need a smooth or slippery surface that you can draw on. And lastly, you will need some water and preferably a tool to help you transfer that water. So first, you will need to take your dry erase marker and draw on top of your surface. You're free to draw anything you would like, but in this demonstration, I will be drawing a stick figure, like so. And for this step, make sure you trace over your drawing a couple of times so that your line is thick, which will help with the next step. Transfer your water from wherever you're holding it into on top of your drawing, like so. And we want to see our stick figure peel from the surface that you have drawn it onto, which it is slowly doing right now. There we have it, a floating stick figure. Now you're free to move or manipulate your drawing however you want to by touching it very gently like so. So let's talk science. How does this work? Why does our stick figure float to the surface of the water rather than staying stuck to the surface? Well, the secret lies in your dry erase marker's ink. There are three special properties to your marker's ink. One of the three special properties of your dry erase marker's ink is that it uses minimal adhesion. That means that there's enough stickiness for the ink to stay on a surface, but not enough so that you can't erase your mistakes, especially for a dry erase marker, which makes it so easy to restart the experiment even though you encounter a mistake. The second special property of your dry erase marker's ink is that it is insoluble, meaning that it won't dissolve in water. That's why your image doesn't disappear when you put water on top of it. It stays intact. And last but not least, the last special property of your dry erase marker's ink is that it is less dense than water, which allows for your drawing to float to the surface of the water. Hope you guys all learned something new today and go ahead and have some fun. Make some more drawings, use different colors, and thanks for watching. Bye.